<laughs> very strange that it's not. But I do have the backup recording. So I will go in and I will switch it out. I'll grab a, a different link. Um, so later on today, and I'll, 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 put, I'll put a note in the recordings that I switched it out. So um, thank you for flagging me on that because it was just going to keep recording <clears throat> without without sound. Um, I, I, I have changed no settings, but the settings have changed. So <laughs> there you go. Um, but I have a remedy. Um, so thank you for that. All right, let's talk about it then. Uh, we'll talk about the market posture. Mindset for open trades, opening range. We'll look at it. Still plenty of opportunity on the list. Um, again, I, I tell me if this is true for you. I used to have to fight this off where it would be like I would have a, a posture that's bullish like we have now. But for some reason, when the futures were down on Monday, right? When I when I'd be like, "Oh, futures are down." I mean, they're hardly down. It's like I don't know. Let's go look. But I found it would it would have some type of an impact on my trading posture when it shouldn't, right? Um, that's part of this meeting is to prevent us from just looking at the futures, seeing a little bit of red, and be like, "Oh, watch out, it's red." It's, it's the future. Like, that doesn't mean anything to us. <laughs> it's such a, a small, small fraction of the actual day. Um, so let's go see what's going on. In fact, if you look at how it translates to the SPY, what, the, what we're seeing, we closed at 584.59, and right now our bid ask is 583.70. So 583.70 is, is literally right here. Um, you, you can hardly even distinguish it from where we closed. So that's that's what we're talking about when we're when we're seeing this. But let's go through what's happening real quickly because we have a few minutes. Uh, down 0.16 on the on the S and P, 0.07 on the Dow, 0.3 on the Nasdaq, 0.05 on the Russell. Um, oil bouncing. Now we've we've been we've been back and forth on oil. Um, what kind of response and and escalation in the Middle East may do? Um, I mean, I think we were expecting a bounce. Let's just pop in there real fast, actually. I think. We were expecting a bounce of some kind because it it had pulled back. But look at the retracement. This was the this was the escalation. And and again, you know, we don't have a a similar, it's an upside down V. We have a, a V pattern that helps us to say, hey, that held on to something. But here you can see the sellers have pushed it almost all the way back. I mean, that was a, almost a full retracement. It was oversold, so are we surprised to see it bounce up? No, not at all. We've got this level here, around 71 and a half to 72, where we may have kind of a funky little inverted head and shoulders, even though it's at the bottom of this downward movement. Oil seems fine to me. Um, it doesn't seem like it's at all inflationary in its in its pressures um, and has adapted to the Middle East conflict pretty well for now for now uh, what else gold is up um, so continuing to do well really not a lot of news you can see um, here's the news why won't Yahoo just give me a consistent perspective Every time I adapt, it changes. Like, I feel like it's back to the old format. Oh, the audio is choppy. Let me see if it's that my... Give me one second.
Okay, it should be on the it should be on the good microphone. Uh, I see it coming from the blue snowball. How does the audio sound? Much better. Let me see if this fixes the other issue too. Testing, testing. Oh, wait a second. It may have. I'll have to still look into the other issue. No, it seems like it's moving. Okay. You guys. The, this 10 times better. David, thank you. The rest of you know the rule. Closed mouth doesn't get fed. You got to tell me. You got to tell me, you guys. Then we know. Okay, so I think I figured out the recording issue, but I'm still going to... No sound for Sandy. So I fixed it for everyone and then broke it for Sandy. What is happening with us today? Is anyone else having a problem? Everyone else is better and it's not great for Sandy? All right. Um, Been like that for a while. Okay. All right. Well, so I'll tell you what happens is... Uh, there, I have a webcam and the webcam has a camera and then I have a fancy camera that's like mounted to the desk and right for some reason that it had a red light that's what I go by the red light but the connection wasn't there that's what happened for some reason so what it was doing was switching to that that uh, uh, camera microphone which is like three feet away and it's just yeah so if the audio quality ever is bad (laughs) that's what happened i guess so let me know quickly be like hey because i have a fancy microphone you guys i want to make sure my fancy microphone is working okay um again back to my complaint about yahoo just give me something consistent Number two, there's just not a lot of news right now. Let's take a quick peek at the economic calendar. Uh, Which is a little slow. Working now? Good. Thank you, Sandy, for letting me know. Well, I'll tell you, the technology is is, uh, just not wanting to participate. Today, we said there wasn't much. Lori Logan, you guys, that's a mic. I mean, it's a good name. It's no, like I said, it's no Austin Goolsby, but Lori Logan, I like that. Dallas Fed, Chicago Feds. Um, other than that, there's really not a lot of news. Beige Books, Friday, but again, we're, we're in an interesting place. All of a sudden, now you're seeing people, people saying, oh, the Fed did too much. Always, always going to second guess. That's the, that's the job. Like a referee. It doesn't matter what you do. Someone's going to second guess you, right? That's the job. <laughs> that's the conversation me and Goolsby have been having. Let's take a quick peek at... Well, I'll tell you, nothing wants to work for me today. Uh, let's just go to the market. Let's just go take a look at the open and then we'll go from there. Like I said, when you look at when you look at the futures and then what happened and when you look at that we're down 0.08, it just looks like we're flat. Okay, flat. Flat where? Flat in a somewhat overbought area. We we've, we've seen this cross and it's kind of in a like a pinched zone for me it could it could easily continue coming back and and moving down towards this and i would still be bullish but my trading posture is a little more cautious because of this right so am i looking to enter a bunch of trades no i also see that this pulled back and could be pinching and turning, which means we could be seeing an acceleration. Absol- something like back here where it just accelerates out of this. Okay, well, I need to be ready for that too. So 
you know, that's that's certainly something that that I'm thinking about by way of, of my trading. Now, real quickly, for those of you who didn't get to see it or hear it because the audio did not come across with the recording, which we seem to have diagnosed, but I will still go back and for yester- for today's recording and for yesterday's, I'll use the live backups, the YouTube backups. Uh, here's what happened. Stayed the same on the long-term trend. I don't think anyone is surprised by that. If we go, we're still just kind of riding along in this in this area, but we're still cautious that we're riding along at the bottom. When we look at this six month, couple people scored the higher high. I'm still feeling pretty confident with where I am as a 1.75. This this trend here, that's what it feels like is about a 1.75. I mean, I, I maybe we'll look to see if you could make the argument for a two. This back here was assessed one and a half, one seven five two at various times, and so oh, I think we were in a good place with how we scored it. For me, whoops. For me, volume dropped. Volume dropped. Some people kept theirs at point two five. Mine dropped. Um, I'm I'm seeing, you know pretty flat there's only three days i saw two days for sellers one day for buyers if we get one buying day this week that'll bring it right back to a quarter of a point because that will bring us to a a tie and tie goes to the buyers major market stayed the same half of a point um the uh, it's an interesting back and forth we actually saw the dow at the top but said that doesn't really feel defensive based on everything else that's happening and that we saw. Um, Sector rotation, same kind of a thing. I think sector rotation is is veering towards an improvement. Um, This is where I could see some improvement coming. Um, And then lastly, the VIX stayed the same. However, the VIX is where I feel some caution so let's go take a look at that well what i have to see to have my uh major market go to zero i'd have to see um the nasdaq and the the russell pull back in kind of a concerted anti-growth right like a defensive shift a little bit which we just haven't seen And in fact, if you look at the the NASDAQ, we saw the NASDAQ starting to pick up steam again coming out of its correction where it had the the most to the downside. Um, Okay, good question. Is yours at zero? Or is yours at 0.25 out of curiosity? Let me know. Okay. Let's go quickly take a look at the VIX and then we're going to hit the watch list. Um, your VIX is at a, or your major markets at a zero. Still have room to get to a minus one. Okay, so you see it neutral. You don't see it at all bullish. No, it's fair. Um, what's, my, what's my concern here? We have an inside day. And we have a cross happening here. It's not technically, this This. This is not confirmation by itself. Um, technically, you know, you would wait for this thing to get above yesterday's, Friday's high, 1932. I got to tell you, if it if this pushes higher today, this this for me is saying, look for the hedge. Even if I have to put the hedge on and off, which I would prefer. Um, I would rather see the the hedge come on, put it on for a couple of days, and then see this roll over. Because if this goes up and rolls over and makes a lower high, I I'm okay with that. I will I will come in and make the necessary adjustments. This would lower the score a quarter of a point. A lower high would raise it back up and it would actually end up being a wash. But that lower high contextually 
at the end of October, moving into November, which is historically a strong period of time. Strong. Sandy, if you have your uh, cyclical chart, give me a post. That would be an interesting one for us to look at as we come into the end of the year, I think. Um, So, yes, we've talked about the fact that this hedge signal is potentially developing. Um, Yeah, okay. Questions? All right, let's uh, get to the watch list. Whoops, let's get this over here. And start at the top. Okay, so Apple's just sort of, you know, chugging along. Aflac chugging along. Um... Both of those, you could still be in. You could you could have paired out. You could have held on. I mean, uh, you know, just the way that you gauge and look at momentum, the way that you assess your overall portfolio, those are going to lead to those individual decisions. There it is. There it is. Uh, open in browser. Yeah, that's that's fine. Open it in a browser. Um, you can kind of see. Whoop! There we go. This this is about where we are right here. So we've we've kind of had this little blip already. Seemingly, let's go back to SPY. wasn't much <laughs> it wasn't much but you can see that October pull back November pull back December this period of time is is February through April and October through December historically cyclically are our strongest months does that mean it always is going to happen nope of course not does that put us in a situation where we recognize that just the alignment of things and um, the way that uh, things get positioned, this is what we tend to have. Okay, great, good to recognize. So I, I would say for me, this is not something that I score, right? We talk about market posture where it's like, oh, there's things that we we look at the yield curve. I don't score the yield curve, but I'm certainly going to talk, look at it and talk about it. I don't score the seasonality, like where we are relative to that, but I'm certainly going to look at it and think about it and talk about it. Um, so that's the that's the thought process. Um, okay. Thank you, Sandy. Very helpful. Back to the watch list so we can talk about our trading posture. So I'm willing to trade if I see a signal, but... So far, you'll notice things are um, just kind of chugging along at, at would more likely to be a resistance. Um, even Amazon, you can see kind of hit a level. It's pulling back. I would, I, more of a, of a triangle kind of a setup going on here at this point in Amazon. Not quite sure. APO, we, we've added a number of what I believe are very strong financial companies. Financials is a sector that I'm looking strongly at this week, but I said, I think that they're in setup mode like this is pulling back. Could be a couple of days. Might not be till Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not going to force it. We're just going to watch it and see. Oh, app loving. You bastard. I was looking for that one. That was like primed on the list. Um, it, it didn't. They, this all happened at once, right? This 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 sometimes makes it look like it pinched here. 
But it didn't really, I mean, it maybe pinched a little here. It pinched a little. That would have been anticipatory. So, I don't know. If anyone took it, good on you. I was looking. I was close. Like, I had flagged it as a prime candidate. But this is not an entry for me. That's 7.5%. I'm probably only looking for 10, you know, <laughs> at best. Uh, okay, so good good eye. Um, good eye that we flagged this for its momentum. Clearly, we liked it. I agree, press, 100%. Um, we didn't have a great signal. It was a good setup. It was, it was coming. We were thinking about it. But that's one of those where, and we talked about the fact that it was sideways, like the sellers have it and it's sideways and we see that as strength, which was a good call. It was just like, anyway, was watching that a year ago. <laughs> I do remember watching that a year ago, actually. Um, yeah, I agree, right? We don't have, we don't, we don't have any expectations that we should have caught that by any stretch. Like it would have been. Nice if it gave us. Yeah. Anyway, always funny. Uh, where were we? Let me get back to my watch list. AXP. I mean, it's actually setting up quite well. Um, just, just sort of waiting to see if it slides in now. At this point, that's the low. Anything above that, if it can give me like a little J-hook pattern coming off this low, I like that. Bank of America flagging looks fantastic. This, this. remember, if we're trading flags where we have these strong pulls and then these mild pullbacks, this overbought stochastics has to simply be accepted. We just accept it. I accept that it's overbought. The flag is a momentum pattern, right? Um, so if it pops out of this, this might turn, but you're not looking for this to come down here. The other thing to look for, you've got a 44 and a half, um, kind of this all-time high back here. So... After last earnings crashed big time, they sure did, right? You can kind of see here, it just kept coming, right? Now, I want you to notice that back here, I would have said the same thing, flag. Right there, I would have said flag. Does it, does it mean, because it kept going down, does it mean, oh, your flag patterns are wrong? No, it means the flag pattern's right. It never actually turned which is what makes a flag a flag it just kept dropping right now i'm looking for a flag if it pulls back the last resistance level that's and you'll notice guess what would guess where this green line will be as this comes down oh it'll perfectly intersect right around 41 you say so right now i'm thinking flag if it gets through that i'm thinking pullback if it gets through that same thing here, flag, pullback right there. I'll tell you what, on July the 26th, if you go back in time, you could do this and listen to the recording. I bet I am talking about BAC bullishly. I bet. I would make, it would make sense, right? Right? If that's what I saw right there, I'd be like, oh, yeah. If this thing turns, I'm in. <laughs> if, it, if it pops up, gets me up in the ear, gives me that turn signal, I'm in. And then the next day, waiting for that turn signal, what did I get? Boop. Oh, man. I didn't, I didn't get it. Am I still a maybe? Yeah. Even as it sits on top of that 50. Now I'm like, ah, just broke the 50 on increasing volume. 
Um, and at that point, you then are like, okay, this changes. Obviously, this changes everything, right? We're not going to. Now we're not bottom fishing. Yeah. Great. That, that, uh, that doesn't change my outlook. BK flagging looks strong. BLDR just sort of meandering around. BX so strong, but overextended by a far, far cry. Carrier flat. <clears throat> so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing some sideways action. I'm seeing some sideways action in uh, in the industrials, Caterpillar, same kind of a thing, right? So right now, out of those two, I'm looking more at financials. Industrials are a little bit more iffy. I'd like to see something there. Uh, Chipotle, look at Chipotle trying to trying to break this little flag pattern to the upside, possibly giving a setup. Uh, coherent, this is new. They had a little bit of a gap down, but overall the trend is still intact. I'm still looking at that. Costco still seems to be setting up. Sitting on top of the 50, possibly ready to bounce off of it. We'll see. Copart, I think that's setting up. This is probably my... Uh, Kind of a cup and handle as well. This is probably the in the industrial. Copart's industrial, right? I believe it is. <laughs> Someone tell me if I'm off base there. Let's keep going. The Dow. Flat for the day. Uh, fast and all. Just kind of grinding. I mean, it was strong on its earnings. We're not seeing any profit taking yet. Um, okay. Fizz. Fizz, Fidelity National, overextended. Strong but overextended. So, look, if we see a, a pullback, I'm not going to look at that and think it's you know, like, oh, what's going on? The market's pulling back. Yeah, it's fine. GE sideways coming into earnings. GE Vernova coming into earnings, both in both in industrials, both a little stronger, actually. Gold looks fantastic. We've been watching gold. Silver popped as well. Corning kind of sideways. Google and it's Google's kind of been a little bit of a triangular pattern as well. It's hard to hard to get a good read. You're coming up on earnings. I don't think we're going to have a, an opportunity to trade Google before earnings. I just don't think it's going to develop. Goldman Financial setting up. There's that, right? It's like the the profit taking, it's very mild. The volume is dropping off. The, the financial sector looks very strong right now. I, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't expect another bump when this current consolidation is over, right? Mind you. I'm not saying now. You can see Home Depot in a little bit of a consolidation, but overall very strong. Okay, Robin Hood setting up, looking good. Another financial. IBM, I think that's a, a magnificent setup. The only problem is you're a couple of days from earnings. Um,
Let's keep going. IWM. Small pullback. I, I think small caps look pretty strong right now. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five days in a row of buying. One, two, three days in a row of selling. Who are you giving it to right now? I mean, we're not done. I'm just saying, links are looking pretty good still. Johnson Controls, that's industrials, kind of sideways. KKR, still going. <laughs> still going. Still time before earnings for a little more. MasterCard. McDonald's overextended looks so good. Oh, I'm telling you, that's the one. You can kind of see this one here looks like, in fact, we talked about, um, what's the one that popped today? I'm blanking. Uh, that we just started watching anyways. Such a bad memory, I know. Um. The if you look at this setup right here coming in, this is that it's like the sellers have it, but it's just not turning. And then it's taken off, right? So like this one gave us the signal though. That's where I'm like, oh, I feel like I missed that one. The audio is cutting in and out. Oh, I don't I hope it's not. Is anyone else having audio issues? Let me know. Um, I am looking at it. There, there are a couple of trades that I'll stop and look at. <laughs> We're all trading a little here and there. No problem. Okay. Uh, Meta still, still looks good. Um, right. Meta still looks good. Setting up. Looks strong. Um, Microsoft. Microsoft is way, or excuse me, Microsoft, Morgan Stanley. I was looking at the next symbol. Uh, overextended, but starting to pull back. Here's Microsoft. I think Microsoft is a little tentative, um, like Google. NDAQ, pulling back, but you're getting real close to earnings. So if you're in it, be careful. Netflix. Um... The um, Netflix is, yeah, I mean, it was so strong on earnings. Now it's just sort of pausing. We left this on just to see if it holds the 50. NVIDIA still strong. So we have some strength in technology still. PEG. Um, yeah, same thing. PLTR looks fine. Looks fine. We'd like to see it start chugging along, but it looks fine for now. PayPal. There's another one of those. Right? Where it's like the sellers should have it, but it's just sort of going sideways. Maybe still time before earnings. QQQ. Yeah, I don't see any like, I don't see any like standing out signals that are like, oh, I need to go take this. I, I see a few things that look interesting. Here is OKLO. Miguel, are you still in it? There's the, there's the pullback. There's the signal. Beautiful. Be a beautiful. RTX. Investment, okay, very nice. RTX, maybe, SO, still kind of going. SoFi, looks fine. Poetry, love it. There's the SPY. The opening range says what? 
We're just kind of flat here. Back and forth. Not really much going on yet. Okay. Tesla. Oh, Tesla. What's going to happen as you get to your earnings? <laughs> TSM? Possibly. Uh, TTD. Flat. The dollar, very strong. The VIX. It's not giving the signal, but it's still close. Let's be mindful. Um, here's Walmart. And uh, real quickly. Here's the XLs. Materials, flat. A lot of things just sort of moving sideways. Energy, not really bouncing. Financials pulling back. Industrial sideways. Uh, technology looks fine. I mean, everything looks fine. I don't. I don't see a lot of setups yet. We'll see if we get some setups going on. Um, but uh, overall, I would expect that we see trades this week. Um, and I'm looking bullish getting uh, getting into the end of October, moving into November. All right. Uh, don't forget, we're working on section three. So um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that tomorrow evening. We'll do some searching. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do some trade trading plan information. And then this evening, join me at 6.30 or that's my time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And uh, join me for happy hour. Let's hang out. Let's have a chat. I'm sure we'll talk about trading as well. There it is. And I will go fix the recording. So thank you about that. I think we've got the the... I think we've got the issue fixed for the audio, but in the meantime, I will go back in and I'll replace the recording link. So if you want to see the posture, you can. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. As always, happy trading.